You're watching a free sample video from Teacher's Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. Using arithmetic skills to solve practical word problems. Let's talk about approximation. Um, so there's different types of word problems you might get, and sometimes you can arrive at the correct answer without, without actually having to do a lot of computations um, by using some kind of practical uh, arithmetic skills. Um, and so approximation is definitely one of those. Let's look at this example problem here. It says pineapples are $3.19 each, apples are $0.79 cents each, guavas are $1.99 each. Bill bought a dozen pieces of, fruit of the same fruit and he spent $38.28. Which type of fruit did he buy? You could solve this problem on the test without actually having to go through the process of multiplying each of these out in their exact, uh, in their exact form, right? Um, so sometimes it's really helpful to approximate an answer to eliminate choices that are obviously incorrect. Um, so let's apply that to this. Um, if we rounded pineapples to three dollars, we rounded apples to a dollar, and we rounded guavas to two dollars, because it's only one cent different than that, um, and then multiply them, we can see what we would get in terms of ballparking this. Um, so three dollars times 12 would be 36, right? Well, that's pretty close to 38, uh, 38, 28. Um, then we look at apples. If we round this to a dollar, a uh, dollar times 12 is $12, not very close. Um, and then we round guavas to $2. Two times 12 is 24. Well, it's closer than the apples, but it's not nearly as close as the pineapples. So without even having to actually multiply each of these out in their exact form, we can know just by sort of estimating this or ballpark, ballparking this um, that pineapples have to be what he purchased. So make sure to save time on the test and also use this as a way to double check even if you did multiply it out, just sort of logically look at it and approximate and see does the answer you're getting to really make sense um, in general. Um, some other computational shortcuts that you can sometimes use on the exam. Um, sometimes uh, when you're manually calculating an exact sum, you can save time by rounding, computing, and then adding or subtracting the difference of what you rounded off. Um, so let's look at an example here. It says pineapples are $3.19 each. What is the cost of 11 pineapples? So I'm going to write this out, but you can probably do this in your head on the actual test. Um, if you were sort of short on time. So $3.19, um, and you're gonna multiply that times 11 to get your total cost of the pineapples. Well, you could look at this and just round this off to 10, right, instead of 11, and then you could basically multiply it by simply moving the decimals. So if we were just looking at times 10, we could say that it would be $31.90. We're just adding the zero there, and we just move that decimal one place, right? So that is actually really helpful uh, if you were looking at the answer choices and there's only one answer that's even in the ballpark of 31.90. Um, so then we, want, we look and we see maybe there's a couple that are in that same range. So then we could say, okay, let's add the additional one back in because we have one that we removed here. So there's one additional pineapple at $3.19. So let's just add $3.19 onto $31.90. Um, so when we add $3.19 to this, um, we get nine, zero, carrier one, we get five here, and we get three here. So 3509 is what we get when we added our additional one back in. And you might be able to sort of add this in your head. So that can be a sort of computational shortcut to just round something off, see what you get, and then if there's whatever you round it off, just multiply that out, add it back in, and then you would get the full result of what you were trying to multiply or divide as the case may be. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.